is this some sort of uh, a joke? No, this isn't some kind of out of season April Fool's joke. The first promo for the Netflix live action uh, Resident Evil show uh, was released, and it could you could have told me it was called Resident Evil Evil Breakfast Club or the I. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the picture, I thought it was a meme. So then I had to dig around to find like the actual, you know, article it came from. And sure enough, it's absolutely real. Now I want to point out, I noticed that like Lance Reddick is getting a bunch of garbage, a bunch of flack on social media. I mean, look, you can't blame the actors for taking the job. All right, let's just, you know, I think we can all agree on that. But this is, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it without showing you. And I, I promise you that your disappointment will be immeasurable and your days will be ruined. But before I ruin your day, something that won't ruin your day, something that I really hope you check out going into the weekend, it's your boy, Raid Shadow Legends. Huge shout out to, well, you know, it's your boy, Raid Shadow Legends. Look, it's time you made some changes. Have you taken down the Demon Lord, crushed the Ice Golem, ascended the Doom Tower? Now is time to get your life in order because it's time to raid. A lot of you already know about Raid Shadow Legends, but I thought about, what about the top five reasons to play Raid Shadow Legends? First of all, reason number one, Embrace the meme. You've heard of the game. You know the memes. Why not give the game a try? How about reason number two? It's actually an awesome RPG with loads of depth, hours of playtime, and tons of fun. Reason number three. You can play it cross-platform. You can play on your cell phone. You can play on your computer. You can play in the car. You can play in space. Anywhere you want. Reason number four. It helps support the channel. You get to try it out, have fun, and support the channel, which brings me to reason number five. It is free, and you have literally nothing to lose, so why not give the game a try? For what's new in Raid, this month, Raid's got a jam-packed schedule of events to kick off summer, as well as a load of new content. And as always, they've got a bunch of brand new champions coming out, and every single one of them looks absolutely awesome. There's also a new rotation of the Doom Tower, which I definitely want to finish this month if I get time. So I'm going to be trying to summon as many of the new champs as possible to see if they can help me reach the top. Raid's always got a lot going on, and this month is no different. So don't wait around and don't miss out. If you want a huge, and I mean absolutely huge, head start in Raid, all you have to do is click the link in the description or scan the QR code right here. New players will get an epic hero, Chinoru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and the 1 Ancient Shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. Look at the cool champion you get for free. You'll find extra rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the username Colt's Dad. And if you're fast, you can join my clan. Help support the channel and check out an awesome game by installing Raid today using my link in the description below. Hey, do me a small favor. Just try it. Just try the game. It's free and it supports the channel and they are a super important sponsor for this channel that keep us uh, afloat. So check it out. You can find me in there. I'm in there a couple times a week, so let's play. Uh, Resident Evil Netflix live action series sets Lance Reddick as Albert Wesker, looks just like him, adds five more to cast all women. <laughs> it's like a female reboot of Resident Evil. Along with Reddick, the series will also star a bunch of women I've never heard of. Details on which characters the others will be playing are being kept under wraps. Resident Evil was originally ordered at Netflix back in August in the series nearly three decades after the discovery of the T-Virus. An outbreak reveals the Umbrella Corporation's dark secrets. Netflix has given one-hour show an eight-episode order. There is no way there's a season two of this. And I love you, Lance. Like... No disrespect. 
get your secure your bag, get your money. But this show looks like an absolute flop. This looks like worse than if the CW did Resident Evil, and that is saying something. Reddick will be the first actor of color to portray Albert Wesker in the long history of the franchise. Uh, of course, of course, he will be. He is known for his starring roles in shows like The Wire, Fringe, and Bosch, as well as his appearance in John Wick film franchise. By the way, he's awesome in that role, and I'm glad as like the, the films moved forward, he got bigger and bigger roles, because I really enjoy his character in there. Um, Reddick is also an accomplished voice actor, having lent his vocal stylings to games like Destiny, as well as Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. Constantin, a Constantin film, which has produced six film franchises based on games, will serve as the studio behind the series. Andrew Dabb serves as writer. I don't care. Now, again, I bet you Lance really likes Resident Evil. And I, I, I mean, I'm not even speaking to these other like ridiculous characters because it looks absurd. And I, I don't want Lance to feel bad. Because I genuinely love his work, but zoiks. The first Resident Evil game was released in 96, and the game has multiple new entries and sold over 100 million copies. Well, let's look at some of the replies. Here's uh, Instagram's uh, Nerdist releasing it. Let's see. I get Riverdale vibes more than Resident Evil. Good luck. Looks like the cast for a CW superhero show that will be canceled after two episodes. Terrified and not in a good way. The show is centering on two teenagers versus, you know, Leon or Claire or Chris. Well, they don't look very scary. Is this on Netflix or the CW? Get woke, go broke. <laughs> I mean, here, how about this? I get it that we need color representation, but do you need to turn white characters black or Asian? Give them their own character so they... So they have a, their own identity and a strong personality instead of having Albert Wesker played by someone who doesn't have the same skill, skin color as the original character. I don't know about this one. I mean, n nobody. No, I'm just everybody's just destroying it. I don't. This is not good. I mean, this could be a dating show. This could be a modern Charlie's Angels. This could be a. Uh, 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 you know, a, a reality TV show about polygamy. This is not and shouldn't be Resident Evil. Now, maybe if they had, like, I don't know, f f put out, like, a more Resident Evil-y pick rather than this glamour shot, that probably would have helped. But, I mean, look, I can't help but point out, like, bro, it, there's, I mean, come on. I'm all for diversity, but where is the diversity here? You know, sixty percent of this country is white, and there's nobody on this cast that's even what. Like, what is this? Let's take a look at some of the other fan. Let's just see how the fans are are reviewing this. <laughs> I mean, this does not look anything like Resident Evil. Rather, it looks like something else that starts with a P and ends with an N. <laughs> Eh, I love Lance, but I don't think he has it in to play convincing Wesker. I do think he does, or a Wesker-like character. The problem is, Wesker is a well-known character that's been around for 20-plus years, and people have a picture of him in their mind. I mean, enough of this race-swapping crap. Here's a, clearly a black individual saying this. Uh... Instead of making Wesker black, how about making a new black character and put Shiva Alomar in it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Albert, recognizable blondie slick hair Wesker? Lance Riddick? <laughs> I mean, like, everybody knows who, who this, who, who, I mean, like, come on. I like Lance. He's one of my favorite characters in The Wire. But Wesker, this is the re this is the response. Like everyone loves Lance, but they're like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm not even giving this a chance. There's no way I'm watching this. Uh, it looks like woke garbage just from casting. Like, imagine a world where Resident Evil was was all race swapped and on Netflix. Tune in. No thanks. Lance Reddick is awesome. Here's somebody even desperately trying to be positive. Lance Riddick is awesome, so this is excellent news. It's odd that people don't seem to find 
that in his previous live action movies barely resemble the source material, but if you change a character's race, then they are suddenly concerned with accuracy. Mm. Look, I'm fine. I'm fine with adding new characters, but when you swap, it just seems like it's like so far past, you know, it's like diversity for diversity's sake. Here's another person, Fran, uh, who is uh, Pan-African, I guess, saying, what the what TF? Why? Why not make him an original character? What's next? They're going to cancel cast Scarlett Johansson to play Shiva, a black character? I'm tired of Hollywood and how streaming services ruin my favorite anime and game franchises. Why would Capcom greenlight this? Let's cast a black actor to play eugenicist that was the end result of an eugenics program by an English aristocrat that wished to create the supreme race. Makes sense. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I mean, look, this is just like the Velma thing yesterday. They're, they're going to say, you know, if you look at the IGN, look at the, like, everybody's laughing at this. Woke, uh, in a lot of different languages. I wonder why. Why are there so many Spanish? Maybe translators? I can't even read any of these. As a black man who grew up on Resident Evil, I'm confused as to why Wecker, well, Wesker is now an almost 60-year-old black man. <laughs> I mean, like, where's all the... In before Nemesis is non-binary. I'd rather play Operation Raccoon City than watch this. Yo, F this. Here's a side-by-side. -side. I mean, like, again, if you would have just had, like, a Resident Evil story without... Wesker, maybe the backlash would be less. I don't know. It still looks like some like some twenty year old just out of Cal Arts College uh, was like, let's cast like the wokest. Let's go for the wokest cast ever. They'll have to give us awards. I mean, I just I don't understand. I I don't blame Lance for taking the job, but this is dumb. This is just the dumbest, dumbest worst you know the meme about netflix adaptation this is the worst but that being said instead of watching this make sure you check out raid shadow legends i hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you again real soon